This is part three of the Hobby King flight stabilizer review. And before we go out and fly the plane, I wanted to do a quick review of the components on the plane. Okay, here's what we got. We decided to use a 9x5 GWS prop instead of the 10x6 that we used to have on here. And I think that came from BP Hobbies. And then we got a Hobby King Turnigy C2830 motor, which is 1100 kV. Uh, we've got a 30 amp Tiger ESC, and I think we got that at a local hobby shop. We have a Rhino 1350 battery, which came from Hobby King. And we got four of these uh, HXT 900 9 gram servos from Hobby King. And of course, the three axis flight stabilizer system from Hobby King and the orange RX receiver from Hobby King. So that's the components and now let's go out to the flying field. Here we go, test of the Hobby King 3 axis flight stabilizer. Can't catch it, come on now. Let's see if it's still working. So how did it do that time? Not bad. I felt like I could have used a little more on the rubber. I could use the rubber but it's probably the problem. Well, let's put a new battery on it. And we'll try it again, okay? Wish I had a camera to mount on it. Was that first flight with the stabilization? Yeah. It was going. See? It's, it's got not as all three axes. Yeah. You want to adjust it a little bit higher this time or what? The yaw could be a little more. I'll just go a little on all of them. The elevator doesn't seem to respond much. It is, but you can hear it. But you don't want too much or it'll get wild. I think the stabilizer is fighting me, wanting to let me turn. Yeah. I've heard that said. Read about that. If it's got too much gain. Yeah, it's too much gain. Alright, let me see if I can get it in. Trouble is, when you've got too much gain, it's hard to make it come around. Right? Okay. Come on, Not enough elevator because you added all that DR and messed it up and made it so you didn't have enough of any of the controls. Yeah, let's go up on the uh, actually the rudder's at 100% right now, and I thought I'd change that. Oh, maybe that was on your DX8. <laughs> no, <laughs> actually, the elevator is 70%, but let's go up a little bit. Aileron, let's go up a little on that too. 
rudder, I'll just leave it 100. I'm not even using it. Doesn't want to turn right, I should say. It likes to turn left. That's the way it was originally. Yeah. And that can be just the way the plane can die. I believe it is. Stable. Dave, I'm guessing that if you don't coordinate rudder with aileron, it makes it harder to turn. <laughs> Too much weight in the front, what I think. So should we take those nuts off? Yeah, maybe we could take the nuts You know it's got two nuts on it. Remember that from the old video? Yep. I hit the record button, it says recording, but it never made a peep. Didn't? No. Do you think it's going? Two tail heavy now. I haven't got a chance to have the rudder. Here's the rudder. Uh, well, I throttle down because I'm not used to using a rudder. I'm adjusting this. It's a bird. It's a plane. Oh, it is a plane. That's right. It did come around when I did that. Well, <laughs> too high up. You're really out there. Whew. See that? I did a little spin. I didn't catch it. I was too zoomed in. <laughs> I did a little roll, I guess you call it. That was a good turn, yeah. Use the rudder. Of course, that was a left turn, rub all right turn. I have a mass of the right here and there. Is that dry? Get away from the trees and then turn right. There it is. I caught it. Is it doing better using the rudder? Oh yeah. I'm not having the problems not seeing it because it doesn't have much weight. There you go. 